At the moment, there's a soccer ball, much like this one, up on the International Space Station. They may not be particularly impressive, given that the station also has ping pong, playing cards and an exercise bike. But this ball is special. Last time it went into space, it was part of the Challenger shuttle disaster. Challenger's mission in 1986 was pretty routine. Deploy a satellite, test out a new tool for astronomy, and teach some school lessons from space. During the ill-fated ascent, the spacecraft broke up, killing all seven crew members. This was to be Ellison Okunuza's second space flight, performing the role of mission specialist. During dives amongst the wreckage, several crew items were recovered. Amongst these, several of Okunuza's personal items, including a football, an American flag, and the soccer ball were found. The ball was returned to his family, who later donated it to Clear Lake High School, where his daughter played soccer. Fast forward to this year, when another Clear Lake High graduate, Robert Kimbra, joined the crew of the International Space Station. The school donated the ball to make another trip into space, and on the 3rd of February 2017, 31 years after originally scheduled, this special soccer ball finally made it to space. A reminder of the costs of spaceflight and the tremendous hurdles we've overcome as we reach for the stars. NASA publishes a list of all media available on the space station for astronauts during their downtime. What's particularly interesting about this is there's only three Harry Potter films, The Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, and The Prisoner of Azkaban. My only guess is that the astronauts were a fan of Harry Potter and had to come home before they could finish the series.